Hello everybody, Treno here, and welcome to our first look of the La Royale dev server. And we're going to kick off by taking a look at the American M4 T26, which is coming to the American tech tree at tier 4, between the M4A376 and the T25. And it's filling the gap between those vehicles by being added at a battery rating of 6.0. And as you can see, it's basically an M4A2 Sherman with an M26 turret. Uh, this did exist, but never went into mass production. Presumably, it was just better to move on to the M26 entirely. But of course, if they'd really desired, they could have done this as an upgrade. And of course, that means it can be in War Thunder because it did exist. And of course, because it's got the M26 turret, it comes with the 90mm gun. And we get most of the shells as on the M26 Pershing except for the M304 APCR round. Now that has a maximum penetration at 500 meters of 259 millimeters. Because we don't have that best penetrating shell at that distance is the T33 APBC shell, which has a penetration of 160 millimeters. Or if you're willing to sacrifice one millimeter of penetration, you've got the M82 APC BC shell. So 159 millimeters of penetration. But of course that does come with an explosive filler. So yeah, it's probably going to be better to go with the M82 shell. And in addition to that, you've got your high explosive and your smoke shell. And of course, like all other American tanks, you've got the 50 cal on the roof and a 7.62mm machine gun in the coaxial position. Now the turret rotation speed on this is the same as the M4A2 and is actually a little bit faster than the M26, which is 12.5 degrees a second. This is 14.3 degrees a second. And this has a reload rate of 9.7 seconds. So again, the same as the M26, but a little bit slower than the M4A2, which is 7.6 seconds. But with the much more powerful gun, I don't think the extra reload time is going to be a big deal breaker, to be honest. I think this will be a very effective weapon. And yeah, I think it will be very good for this battle rating. And of course, to top this all off, because you've got the better turret, you now have more armor. So you've got 101.6 millimeters at the front. You've also got the variable thickness for the mantlet. So as you can see, it generally seems to be around 150, 100 millimeters plus, even coming up to around or near to 200 millimeters at some point. Definitely about 196 I saw there. Uh, for the rest of the turret, it's 76.2 millimeters for the sides and rear, 25.4 for the roof, and 76.2 millimeters for the cupola if we compare that to the m4a2 again it's got the variable thickness at the mantlet and definitely goes into 200 millimeters yeah 222 millimeters at the front seems to get there a lot easier than on the m26 turret but it also generally seems to be a bit lower in other areas and for the sides and rear it's only 63.5 millimeters and the same for the cupola and the roof armor is also 25.4 millimeters. Now this somehow weighs the same as the M4A2, which kind of surprises me considering the massive turret. And less surprisingly, it is a little bit slower. It's got a top speed of 26 miles per hour versus the M4A2 at 28.5. So 2.5 miles per hour slower or about four kilometers an hour slower. And other than that, it seems generally the same as the M4A2. It's got the same crew, got your driver and your machine gunner in the hull and then you've got your gunner commander and loader in the turret so we're going to just take this for a quick test drive just to see how it plays out so we're just going to take our first shot at the panzer 2 and as you can see just deals with it straight away nothing buggy about the gun so far i've definitely noticed on a few of the new vehicles they've got invisible shells and the like but no, as we can see there, it is working. Machine guns are working. We're going to take a shot at the Panther. Now I'm using the solid APBC shell, so we're not going to do much damage if we do hit. It's about 450 millimeters, I think. Yeah, so we can't penetrate the hole, at least from this distance. I think we can get the turret, but I don't think we're going to do much damage. Yeah, penetrates the mantlet. Gets the commander and the horizontal turret drive, but not much else. Obviously, with the APBC shell, it will do a lot better. We'll take it for a quick drive. Accelerates a little bit slower, or at least it feels a little bit slower. But not drastically so. 
We're just going to test out that turret rotation speed. Yeah, it rotates pretty fast. So, so far, this seems to be a pretty good tank. The only potential downside is the size, but this doesn't really feel much bigger than the M4A2. If we compare it to the Panther, it's a little bit taller, but not drastically so. I mean, the machine gun sticks right up, but the turret itself is a tiny bit taller, but not much, to be honest. So yeah, this seems like a really good tank, to be honest. I mean, it is still on the M4A2 hull, so it's still going to suffer a little bit in regards to that. It would be better if it was on the M4A3 hull. And at this tier, the hull is just going to be very easy meat for enemy tanks. But, yeah, I think it's a pretty good tank so far. See if we can just penetrate through the machine gun port. There we go. So, that is the M4 T26. And, yeah, to be honest, I quite like it. I think it's a very good tank for between the... M4A3 and T25. It's a good stepping stone towards the higher tier vehicles. So yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the tanks I'm looking forward to getting in the American tech tree. Anyway, that's just a look at the M4 T26. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll join me for more videos on the Love Royale dev blog. I've been Tereno, and I'll see you next time.